And here we go. At the National Stadium, Kingston College, decked in purple. Jamaica College, of course, in their full blue. Lockdown Bernard, of course, in charge of the Kingston College contingent. Would have been relieved that he actually won the Manning Cup last year after some 32 years waiting on that prestigious title. Jamaica College tried to come forward. Tasha Grant tried to put that one inside the box. For the students of the game, so they're just observing the action right now. Not a lot of chairs going around. See a few Coral College spectators still in the stands. Looking on the action, disappointed that the team will be unable to defend their Champions Cup crown. Jamaica College, of course, were in the final last year. And they, of course, lost to Coral College Act, the Mountain Bay Sports Conference. When you're a football fan, you really will, even with really the disappointment of your team not being in it, you will want to watch a game once it's been played and you're in the vicinity. The fact that they've traveled so far, exactly. why not just watch the two that, games? That's the primary thing, the fact they're coming from one take away most of them. But they've seen a decent encounter in front of them. Nice turn. Could supply the pass on that occasion. Scott McLeod. Doing a kitchen. He's listed to be on the side of their front three. You know he's going to be roaming in the front three most times in this type of formation. Front three three very fluid. Right. The primer is in that part of the formation will try to constantly change their line of attack. And he's hoping that when he goes deep, when he makes his run, he won't be trapped. There he is, coming to the ball in a holding midfield row. Trying to get by a couple of players. Ronaldo Robinson on the ball down. Trying to utilize the speed, but that was overkill. Four second touch here from Robinson, just too heavy and invited to the defender. Four year blast. So they know. Apostle Chong. But that play was. Red from far, and Gardner was able to intercept. There's no pass again for JC. Again, Gardner in the right place. serve to look to pick out one of the three teammates that he had ahead of him. That one looked like he was going he was going for a shot on goal.
too much on it over here. Four goals this game so far for Chabon Gay. He may have to come up big today when he is just picked that. He spoke about Atkinson going deep and playing apart from the goal. He would want to be more closer to, but you would expect that he's going to be well marshaled and will get a lot of attention from this Jamaica College team. When that occurs, then he's suspected here. Other partners in crime will have to step up and deliver. Well, there's a reason why they got him from Morant Bay, Siobhan Gale. Although he hasn't been as prolific as they would have wanted him to be, he has. Filled his role and his thoughts today for Kingston College who Lewis Watson sends it inside the box. At the back post is Morrison trying to get a shot off. And Tidy Small back there putting it into touch. Trying to get a free kick. He would be a happy man, Coach Harris, if his team can get into the finals of this Champions Cup. Maybe may not fancy going on. Or Pulls it across, the keeper managing to hold on at the second attempt. David Martin almost giving his teammates a, a panic attack on that occasion. Almost giving himself a panic because here, this regulation take just got through him and hit his body. And there was no danger, he felt he didn't have enough pace on it to take it over the goal line. Since the early flurry of chances, we haven't seen much in terms of activities in that penalty area for both teams. A lot of battle going on between the panel, between the 18-yard boxes. These two teams would have met on quite a few occasions, in fact, over the last two years. In fact, they would have met in a couple of World Cup finals. In 2016 and in 2017, in 2016, KC won 2-0. In 2017, JC won 2-1. Of course, that was a dramatic year for Jamaica College, having lost to KC in the Manny Cup. In the Manny Cup, for the final round, losing by two goals to nil at the National Stadium East Field. The height of their success, 76 games in the Manning Cup unbeaten. Before Kingston College came along, KC needed that win now to make it through to the semi-finals. JC, you were all right. Not much sure. <laughs> but it upset their head coach so much at that time. That they went on to win the triple that year. They would want to win this one this year for sure. Oh, they also won the under 14 and the under 16 as well. <laughs> so, Miguel Coley, of course, would have been in charge of the senior team, but they won everything that year. And I mean everything. You suspect with what we've seen this season, those days gone, I don't want to say long uh, gone, it's in you know, recent times, but for sure, not looking that poor house that they've come to be. Well, taking Casey's cab would be a big thing in order to 
just lift their confidence because it has been a hot and cold season for them. Jamaica College. Shadeen Lopez on it. Trying to get by Watson, who does well. Who does very well because he did, did Jimmy Avert in a corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, as spectators and commentators, we look on and we see the, the talented bunch. Jamaica College, you wonder about their best 11. They do have a strong bench, so at least something possible can be taken from it. Coach Ferguson did say that in 11, he fits on theories. And a strong one as well. Atkinson sends this one inside the box, headed away. And uh, does well to win the free kick. Win Atkinson. Atkinson is smart, he was running away from me quickly. He's got himself between man and ball. Can you see him here just looking to pull the ball away? Spotted between the opponent and the ball. Always giving him a great chance of joining the foul. He did on that occasion. Jamari Morrison, he has the potential to score. Let's see what he does with this one. The ball has been set up. It's some way out, but Morrison goes goalwards, and no problem is there for Terry Bryant. He would have felt from the distance, that one was taken, he would have done well to at least get it on target. Often we see versus because so far with the overcompensation for power, the goal is over the top. I'm not going to worry. Coach. Morrison. There's head inside looking for Gale. Comes out as far as Ronaldo Robinson faked. Faked the shot and then the resulting effort was going wide anyway, but not a lot of power behind it. The players here, it had just been too much under his feet. He's touch. He tried to get. All right, let's have a look. Even his own teammates in front of him. Oh, 
he was prevented there, but more so his teammates were in front of him who couldn't come out to mean that one. Oh, mix up at the back. Atkinson tried to keep that one in, and he does. Gets some more hits for his team. Atkins Atkinson would be better served to beat that area. Now he gets a chance to get on the end of the, this corner kick. Second corner for Kingston College. The, the Free Haven have an award with McLeod and Company inside the six yard box. Here's the delivery at the back post. The keeper fumbled and then he held on. teams put in a, a player just in the line of the sight of the goalkeeper there wanting to obstruct his free movement by the way surprise because it's raining here at the national stadium Comes over the floor to ball inside the box. The box of tongue is there. Sean trying to make his way around such a clear and committed the foul. He doesn't like the foul. Sean certainly didn't feel like he committed an infringement there. Since his substitute, his substitution in our coming on as a substitute in the round of 16 against. in it at all and I can see why Chan was so upset about it. The Paris there was so kind to Chan. Chan was probably indicating that you know at his size he really could have done nothing to cause an infringement there. Really truly the player just slipped. But Jay Lawrence with the throw. Tajay Grant. I haven't seen a lot of Tajay Grant. Can he keep it in play? He can't. Ten goals to his name so far this season, Tajay Grant. He was number 13 for Jamaica College. He doesn't start every time for the Dark Blues, you know. He comes into this lineup at the expense of the JC skipper, Shania Thomas. He must be doing something right to this place. And it could just be a tactical displace. Often, sometimes as coaches, you have to explain to players it's not that you are bad, it's just that the other player. But it suits the encounter that you're going in into. At times you you make those calls, you, you make those changes just based on the fact that you feel that player is better suited for the opponent you're coming up against or better suited to carry out your tactical game plan. McCarthy wins it for Casey. Haven't seen that quality in the attacking third. You know, there are not since the early flurry of shots and from both teams. Nothing much in way in the way of remote activities. 
that's about it. And then you see Chong the player, I said, who have really made a statement to his coach, Ferguson, for a place since coming on as a substitute, as I said in that game against McLeod. Uh, McGrath, sorry. Robinson. Thompson doing enough. We get the feel that's the best Robinson could have gotten out of the situation. Thompson also got help. You know, he's coming in there in the likes of Lopez. And there's a double team on Robinson. Watson, deliver a long throw it seems. And we've seen that to good effect today. Clannan College did score from a, a long throw in. Not the easiest thing to defend those long throw in because you don't come in with a lot of pace and as a defender to try and get a clearance distance on your headers, sometimes not very easy. So no problem for David Martin. Gardner is having a decent game for Buckingham College. You know, committed a few infringements, but it's been there for a lot of the attacks coming from Jamaica College. So on Gale committed the foul there. And there will be no penalties given there. I make reference of that because early this season in the ben, well, well, early this week in the Ben Francis Cup. We had a situation similar and penalty given. Hopefully both players will be okay. Goalkeeper did collect. And you will get the feeling right call here from the referee. Yep. So with that replay, he would have come off the worst. I was saying, you know, earlier this week, as we saw a uh, call made by a referee at the AD Court playing Manchester, in the end it was the deciding goal, but he was pretty harsh on the goalkeeper on that occasion. Who came off injured, mind you? Who had to be substituted, yes. But, just did exactly what the goalkeeper had to do. So often in these pressure games, referees to are under pressure, not just the players. We saw in the early game today, Clarendon College felt they should have had a penalty early in the game. I also felt so too, but in the end, the quality that Clarendon College had, they did not need it. to see Barrett back up and ready to go. We really don't want to see these players picking up any major injuries. After that break, play resumes. Kevin is back there, working some college. Does pretty well.
you get the feeling this one needs a goal to liven it up. Started well, we felt the pace was good earlier on. I think both teams have gone back into this big tactical battle. <laughs> you mean their shell? <laughs> I rather that fancy way of putting it, but yeah, sometimes it's just the stifles the quality and the expressiveness of the players. Maybe cancelling each other out between the 18 yard boxes. Lopez has it. Look to make a run inside the box and get by Calvin Gardner, who stood up well. As I said, it's been having a decent game. Gardner has been the, I think he has won pretty much most of the challenges that he has encountered. Accessing. So one game. Such a player. Trying to get by Philip Lawrence. You know, Lawrence could have been a left back, you know. He does well tracking back. Yeah. With the engine. It was crystal clear. thing is for sure, Donald, is that spectators here, they are playing their part in creating a good atmosphere here. The National Stadiums, Stadium just need teams here to lift the tempo. Chong. Very difficult to control that one coming over his shoulder. Maybe the chest not the best means by which he should have gone about to try and control it. Seeing that one coming over your shoulder, just take it down with the instant. Always been pretty difficult to with a wet ball. Now Ronaldo Robinson on it. Oh, he gets by Phil and Lawrence. Ronaldo Robinson and tries to repeat the trick and get him by another defender.
Jermaine Miller there of Jamaica College. Joining me now is Raymond Wet Watson, assistant coach at Kingston College. Uh, you weren't creating many chances in the first half, but of course what's crucial is that you have a goal going into halftime. How would you sum up Kingston College's first half performance? I think it was a fair performance from both teams, and as I said, we got the foot. But uh, coming into the second half, I think we're going to add a little bit more punch to our team, so you can expect a little bit more fireworks from us. Siobhan Gale will be coming out, and Tyrese Williams will be in. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. All right, Raymond Watson there of Kingston College letting us in on what is going to happen in the second half for them. But right now, they currently lead Jamaica College a goal to nil in the second semifinal of the IFA Champions Cup. We're going to take a break. We have more for you when we return. I don't think, well, based on the fact that he can make up to five changes, the coaching staff will be thinking about making those changes soon if the procession continues and the second half is now on the way at the National Stadium. JC trying to come forward. Kingston College, they've been very strong at the back this season. They've only conceded once in open play. KC. And then and the evidence of things. You don't see them conceding from open play based on what Jamaica College has done so far in this game. But it's a fresh 45 minutes to go and they just came out of the locker rooms and would have had the motivational speech from coaches and tactical adjustments and all the... All and KC did indicate that they would have made a change early in the second half, ex expecting to see Tyrese Williams come on for Siobhan Gale. And Williams, he has the potential to bring some spark to this game, so he suspected with just a minute and a few seconds into the, the second half, and the change would have been made at halftime. And Siobhan Gale would not have been required to come out for this. Just a mere a minute and 13 seconds. Well, I, I suppose you can call it time management as well. I think you're trying to beat him out to it. No. system at the National Stadium doing its best to frustrate the spectators as the game is. Jamari Morrison picks it up for Kingston College. Jamari McCarthy was fouled, free kick. really pouring down here at the National Stadium. Earlier this week we saw another knockout competition in the Ben Francis Cup. The semi-final is a game having to be called off because of heavy rain at Juicy Park in Clarendon. We suspect that the National Stadium field will hold up much better than that field did. Tyrese Williams with his first touch trying to Send the ball of field to Ronaldo Robinson. And Tariq Barrett gets a hold on it. KC Williams with a heavy first touch. Atkinson out wide for KC. Does well. Heads to the byline. Atkinson pulls it across. There's a hand on it. Oh, there's slippage. And then the clearance. The intertouch. I think on both occasions there, even with the move from Robinson, would have been helped out by the weather here. Can they not being able to keep his foot in? And then Williams got, and uh, Robinson got around him. Ronaldo Robinson sends this one at the back post. Richard Thompson is back there. And he will get the throw for his team. And also the fact that we saw goalkeeper Barrett having a spill there. 
going to be difficult for him to hold on to the ball in this type of weather. And you might just start seeing this type of weather tends to encourage shooting from a distance if they can get a hold of the football. Small. Gardner doing the correct thing, not taking any chances. Corner kick to Jamaica College. And defenders will be tested in this type of weather. You look at that, it's just torn down here at the National Stadium. I haven't seen any indication from any of these players looking to change their footwears to pegs that would help them so well in keeping their foot in. Second corner kick to Jamaica College. Can they get the equalizer with this one? Swung in at the back post and it's headed behind for another corner kick. I think that it was Lewis Watson there who goes highest and got his header on a good defensive header. It's going to appear there from Watson. The time Small was right behind him there. He really had to get it because Small was looking for pounds. Champions Cup semi final in the rain. Here's the corner kick, and heads go up. And it goes for a JC throw, and they'll take their time about this, or Kingston College throw rather. And they'll take their time about this. One love. Yeah, we are one love. Bernardo Robinson takes an effort from distance. And it's high. Saw Tariq Barrett off his line. And uh, tried to give him some work to do. Uh, Bernardo Robinson. Right, it's it down and in this condition. It does encourage shooting from a distance. So, yeah. Uh, coupled with the fact that the goalkeeper Barrett was off the line. But they know that if they can shoot from distance and get it on target, it can worry these goalkeepers on show today, David Martin and Barrett. So no sign of stopping. It's come down heavier, in fact. Robinson, nice first touch. Atkinson, I think over the top, top the keeper coming off his line and holding on. Saw that early. They Tariq Barrett and did well as he advanced off his line together. JC now. Thompson trying to play it along the channel. He gets a throw for his team. These players are going to do very well to keep the quality of play high because the slippage slipping and the ball to execute the passes. You can see that the outfield is, is heavy. It is, and the ball not going and almost, over it. Almost water locked, actually. Nice. It's a lot of rain. Stadium turf getting a heavy beating right now. Another example of the ball just stopping short. Casey trying to move forward. Those fancy passing will not work on this surface tonight. Cross the chong. Haven't seen a lot from him in this game today. Cross the chong. And uh, that might be one of the reasons why Jamaica College has been so blunt in their fall, in their attacks, because 
for me, he's, he's one player who really knits things together for them. He's a busy player, but still hasn't gotten into this game tonight. But he has for sure McCarthy. Getting the goal that separates these two teams. JC warming up a, a few of their players. We would expect them to make some adjustments very pretty soon. They're the ones chasing this one. They need to things up or create different challenges for the Skinston College team. So again trying to beat Lewis Watson who stood firm and banged that one upfield. That's going to stay in play. showers but we would have to have a waterlogged feel uh, to call for this game to be called off or the situation would have to have also lightning strikes but also the reasons why this game would be called off at the moment there's no signs of a lightning here and secondly feel the national stadium here holding up at the moment well, it's holding up barely, it seems. Chong for JC. Phil and Lawrence. Couldn't find his way through. I think I've seen some signs of puns appearing. It continues for much longer than it. He's going to have a lot of deals on the park. Morrison has it for KC. Dwayne Atkinson. He's got to be careful when he's dribbling on the surface. In fact, you wouldn't encourage it. Especially on the far side. The ball set inside the box, tapped out of the box. Atkinson, again, trying to dribble. Is so that he hasn't learned his lesson? He's lost it. Lopez won it. It's finally put into touch. Can't afford a dribble right now. Especially on that left hand side for Kingston College. That's the area of the park here that we're having a lot more. We've seen some puddles appearing in referee here. A word. Some concerns here from the coaching staff for Kingston College. Wonder what that discussion is about. Don't think it's because of the conditions. No, but the referee is the person who is in charge of whether or not. But the referee needs to, he's the one who is in charge, he has to make the decision. What is going to go across to? Scorers were leading one love, 58 minutes gone. Trying to get some consultation, uh, consent from both sets of coaches. Well, I can tell you with this consultation. And it just, Well, Donald, you had mentioned it off here that the dark colors, despite different colors, they're dark and making it difficult. I said it from the start of the game. It, before it, the rain. It's, and then with the rain now, it's, it's difficult to because it's part, I'm sure. Because of the visibility with the rain pouring down, and that makes it reduce the visibility here. But 
apparently they are satisfied. The board sets of coaches feel it's the players they should have consulted and not the coaches in that regards in terms of if they can really see what's going on. Well, they're guessing and spilling at the moment. I suppose probably the players are too. You cannot dribble on the surface right now. And it's okay, a mistake there, picked up by Akosa Chong. Williams again trying to dribble up. Chong is fouled. Break to JC. Now look at that. <laughs> there is some damage being done on the stadium surface. And the problem is very true down on the top of the surface, but even the, the colors of the jerseys. The designs are pretty much similar in terms of the dark colors, but the white stripe on it is is in the same areas and stuff. So that even compounds the situation. Richard Thompson takes a shot from distance and the keeper managing to hold on on the second attempt. But I would say give David Martin huge credit for what he did. He got his entire body behind the line of that one. It's going to be easy just to take and collect. Do you see him? Every inch of his body behind it. Smothered that one. Tajay Grant was the one who was flying in. Trying to get a touch on it. And even in normal good weather condition, the bounce and ball just before the goalkeeper is difficult. On the surface, even made worse. So give Martin some credit there. Well, Martin needs some attention. That boost, the bottom of the boots is flashy for Martin. Yeah, no, I just think it's a wet on the lights. <laughs> it looks sits. Good reflection there. Reflecting the lights quite nice. Seems like JC is getting ready to make a, a change. The former Kingston College player is going to come on, Omar Thompson. Add into the narrative on this one. JC's are JC will be changing their jerseys now. Oh yeah. Last time I will have to change our jerseys. The last time. We gonna play white and blue. But it was a long time coming, I felt. Sky blue and white. Oh great, they're actually, I believe there are numbers on them, so let's hope there are numbers on them, there you go. And they keep the same numbers, but the shorts, well we'll have to, the numbers are on the shorts as well. Just identify them by their personality, <laughs> yes, what's yes, the problem? Yes. <laughs> I just follow you, your Q, Donna. Oh, great. They are silver numbers. Well, that won't be any problem at all for us. Adidas. <laughs> well, at least we can separate the teams now. Yes. I'm just a little bit surprised that you'd expect consultation to have taken place before a game like this. Yeah, well, you, you're lamenting it before, Donna early before, long before all of this, that colours were really just too close for comfort. And now the sponsors, of course, will not be able to get their pound of flesh from the jerseys, but that's another argument altogether. Not our headies. Oh, no. Is the rain easing up just a tad?
Well, they're seeing the funny side of it. And Omar Thompson now wears the 18 and he's on the park. Score is we are leading one. So let's one do love. this if we can. Jamar. We are lead one love after 64 minutes. Tashi Grant. Well, well not Tashi. Tony Atkinson almost with a brilliant first touch on that occasion. has been done. I mean, look at the field. Trying to utilize the speed, Tyrese Williams. But no problems there at the back. It looks to be Christopher McDonald or Nikashi Murray, rather. Yep, that's the stadium surface. But with that condition that the surface is now in, I think you're going to see a lot of Route 1 football. Uh, not much passing around, but getting it up front. Let's see the second attempt to clear. No fooling around there from Gardner. can sense of the crowd getting a little bit frustrated with the lack of quality, mainly because of the surface. He was thinking of a shot. And the keeper had to retrieve, at least the crowd see the body side of it. Because the body there serving as an extra defender, <laughs> stopping it for her. Good work at the back, Mighty. by the grass. They'll try again. Here's the effort that's wide of the mark. Tyrese Williams with that shot. We heard Dr. Bernard saying that he has the strongest kick in this KC team. And he was brought on to lively at the proceedings. And we know what he can do in this attacking third. Packs a good punch, yes, not on target. We feel anything on target in this game is going to trouble the goalkeepers. This type of condition, yeah, quality tends right. to take a dip, and we're seeing that. Need some warriors on the park. Sean playing it upfield. He's been through on that occasion. Sean collects. Nice turn. Lucas that was or Lawrence this one sent long inside the box and it's over the top actually and those are deflections so it's going to be a corner kick to JC and they're going to take it quickly they seem to sort out themselves as this one is sent too long at the back post. Yeah, just too much weight on that one. Not giving any of his hands in the Charlie, he, is, he has been substituted. He's in the whole changing of the, the jerseys. He also was changed. I thought this match was a tragedy, but it turns out to be a comedy. As Tyrese Williams is, has got his yellow card. Isaac Scott actually came on for Costa Chung. It was confirmed that Tyrese Williams got the yellow card. 
Goodman here to set the tie. As I said in this one, expect a move one football. And we're going to have clearance up here by Watson. Clean up from the back happening here. Clearance made by Jonathan College. Lawrence with the throw, Roger Lawrence. Jose Grant just running out of real estate as he was shielded all the time. Kevin doing some good work. JC to make another change. As uh, Tavar Lawrence comes on to replace Tajay Grant. Trying to beat his marker was unsuccessful. The ball almost went through. Gavin did enough, the keeper does enough himself. David Martin was a good ball from deep there, looking just to split the defense open. He just didn't find it really vital. It's a section there for the We expected Jamaica College to have the impetus to push on since lots of the weather condition changed so dramatically. They have seen the better of attacking plays in this one. minutes remaining plus I would think a chunk of time for stoppages. I'm going to change some jerseys and all. Most definitely expect a good deal of it. Thompson with the throw. As it's cop was trying to make his way through.
They brought on speedy players and strong players to make college as they tried to almost bulldoze their way to an equalizer in trying conditions. I felt they had no other options to just go for it. They are giving it a go here, Jamaica College. Wouldn't be surprised to see as the time we're, we're on. <laughs> He's just making his way back on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure that would come to a halt, but sent off by the referee. I think he wants a change of footwear. Not comfortable with and that he currently has on their blair. It's the right design for this condition, but just might not be the right size for him or the right comfort level for him. Anyway, we'll do for Kingston College at the moment. Yeah, it's not surprising if you see kids in college looking to play on the counter, sitting deep, getting players behind the ball in this type of condition, and just look to hit on the break. He's now saying that he has a problem with his hamstring. Referee, he can see the look at his face, he just knows, and there's a player behind him indicating what he really wants is a change of footwear. He's at pains to point out to the referee that it's also a injury, injury that he has, but in the end he has to leave the field. Blair trying to pull out all the stops to stay on the park or to stop the game. And he gets to change his footwear, but well, he still hasn't changed it. And, and he takes a throw. To, to continue. Williams trying to stick a boot in, committing the foul. But Jay Lawrence doesn't send this one long. Easily handed there by the Casey skipper Gavin. Lawrence again. Isaac Scott. The challenge coming in. It's a quarter kick. Jamaica College. Well, this is a good opportunity for Jamaica College to serve a ball into the box here in this testing condition. The seat equalizer at Jamaica College. 77 minutes. Is he making another change? Here's the corner kick at the back post. The keeper gathers it. Good tip there from Martin under the circumstances. Maybe a good take like that would be applauded by his teammates and his supporters in the stands because they do appreciate how testing it is for goalkeepers in this type of weather. Michael Allen, by the way, has come on for Kingston College, replacing Demario McCarthy. So it's actually an attacking change made by Casey. Goal score result. His goal may be the difference between the teams as this shot was on time and I felt like it's deflected behind before a corner. Good work by Nicoche Murray on that occasion. Yeah, it wasn't done right here. 
when you feel he has done something good there because he was the one who would his slice clearance and allow McCarthy to finish and give Casey the lead. That time you felt it was a vital intervention because it was a ferocious shot and it was on target. It was still sliced. Yeah, well, this time, better result. Going to get to Eastern College. It wasn't the best delivery to make College well clear. The rain is coming a little bit heavier now. The second coming of the rains here at the National Stadium. Score is one now. They don't look to be enthused. Spectators. Not too much for them to cheer about. Some of the Cornwall College supporters, they're going to be journeying back to the West at this stage, might have created their decision to stay on. <laughs> could have lived earlier, right? Yes. We probably would have reached that by now, I suppose. Senator, no, Richard Thompson. Almost in some problems there. JC now there for swing. JC tried to build something here. McLeod doing well, stopping that pass. Again, the sliced clearance from Murray. Atkinson. Almost pulled it off. Ball banged up field, not handled properly at the back. It's a chance for Jamaica College. Two players down inside the box with the whistle goes. And it's going to be a free kick for Kingston College in the open area. And Phil and Lawrence cannot believe the call. Here we see... Ten minutes to go. Hmm. Not much in it. Lawrence didn't do anything there. Both players equally challenging. Let's see it from this angle. He might just have wrapped his arm around. Might have just helped Blair to the ground. But he was his falling hand, over. His hand was trapped on the Sajir Blair's arm. Well, I don't know if it's trapped. But with the fact that it is in that particular area with the defender, always going to get the call as you feel. I think the referee deemed him to have contributed to Blair going to the turf eventually. Yes, the way this is a tactical battle. I, I think it's it's clear what you see Kinson College doing here. <laughs> They're just staying behind the ball. It's a root one thing. It's knocking up field. If they get something out of it, fine. It's a case of keeping what we have and you're not venturing too much to to get anything more. As difficult as it is in this condition, I mean, it eased up, but it is back in its full glory now. But you see, still looking for that equalizer. Ball sent inside the area. At the back post, big chance. It's blocked. Still JC trying to press. Four players inside the box. It's delivered inside Triana. 1-1. One, one. They were knocking. And finally a response. And it's Shade Lopez with the header. Brilliant delivery inside the box. He was unmarked. But he did not that one home. And JC back level. But we did call Lopez as a critical player, a vital player for this Jamaica College team. And you felt when McLeod blocked that one, the chance had gone. Put a good ball into the box. And Lopez, the man to finish it off. And Mark getting us some space and making it count for Jamaica College. Good glancing header to the far post. He's come all the way from Buff Bay to represent Jamaica College here. His fifth goal this season, Shadane Lopez, and it was a critical one. I call it critical, vital, very important, whatever you say. 
it. Jamaica College needed that one. And as I said before, a player, the early start of the game, we felt would have been crucial for Jamaica College. And this is what good players do. They turn up on the big occasion. Anything will do now. Anything will do. Any scrap. Any morsel just to get that go-ahead goal or we head to penalties in this Champions Cup semi-final. And you talk about excitement and adding drama to this one. Just let's see penalty being taken in this condition. <laughs> JC now with the momentum. They may just go for the win here. It's a long throw inside the box. Lewis Watson with the clearing header. And JC will get another throw. Oh, we did see with the coming of the, the rains and the turning of the weather conditions here. Jamaica College did seem to be looking like the team putting on more of a, a push. And looking better going forward. The reward has been had. Long throw inside the box. Headed away. Not too far out though. Ronaldo Robinson doing some defensive work and clearing. Kingston College, they will be weary of dribbling out of their own half. But all of a sudden, JC on a high with the possession now in the attacking third, trying to make the crucial pass. He decides to dribble, and again, that's not the best idea, but he's heading towards the byline. Two players inside the box, it's pulled back inside the six yard area. It's cleared out of the box. I spoke about it in another game before that in this condition and the dribbling you just execute a different type of technique and what we saw there he kept just scooping the ball just lifting it little by little not huge and that is what allowed him to get to the byline there and effect a cutback and showing good really intelligent play there in this type of condition just look at the water running down the Cycle track, lot of rain. Tamari Morrison, but not Tamari Morrison, goodness me. Omar Thompson running against his old school there. Omar Cheeky Thompson. Is that Christopher McDonald getting some attention? One well, of the centre backs for Jamaica College. Appears to be him. Yep, it is him. And remember, with this stoppage here added to all that we've seen throughout this game, changing of the jerseys and other stuff, there's still a big chunk of the game remaining and you get the, f the feeling there's enough time if one of these two teams are brave enough to go for it, that they could win it. Fishing on the screen, we see we're in the 87th minute, but I'm pretty sure we have a lot more time than just three minutes. Jesse making a change. Terence Francis replaces Chris McDonald. Ball sent inside the box. It's headed behind. And it's going to be a corner kick to JC. Oh, chance inside the box. One across the area. It just needed a touch. Just a touch at the back post. I would have been 2-1 to JC. When a touch came in, but it came from a Kinsa College player. I think it was Watson who got a touch on it. Quite a touch to take it away from the player. Yes. But it would have been post. offside, or it should have been offside. Yes. He was in an offside position there. If he had got a touch and that had crossed the line, that would have been controversial. That would have been in this condition. Maybe the visibility being poor for the assistant referee, maybe that's obscuring his vision on that one. But a vital touch, uh, Watson was not a, going to allow the, the decision to go to the refereeing party here. He got a vital touch. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Has had a good game so far for Kingston College. He's made his way inside the box as Casey trying to match the numbers inside the area. Lopez collecting, seeking a good delivery. Again, he goes the long route. 
and uh, was unsuccessful on that occasion. It's a, a goal kick to Kingston College. I'd like to lovely, lovely, as I said, always a pleasure for me being a coach myself. When you have players who have the ability, who are touted to be major players, turn up on big occasions. If this was a boxing match, you would think that the pendulum would have swung in favor of Jamaica College in the second half. They've had the majority of the possession in the last 15 minutes or so. They have a free kick now with about 30 seconds remaining in the 90. And on that the back, boxing match won't have any scorecard to try and give you the points here or there. The one thing that will count in this one is that which we see at the top. And it's pretty much level. Yes, it's level. There's a chance for JC. Looking for the winner. To the top of the box. Try to stab that one through at the back post. Lopez on his left. Plays it across. At the opportunity that swung wide. Good pull back, back into the box there. And a good swivel and turn there. Just couldn't get his shot on target. Again, his standing leg just giving way underneath him. And so, as such, affected the execution of the shot. Yeah, that looked up into Baron Lawrence who managed to get the shot off. Oh, by the way, four minutes of stoppages to be played. Well, they're nervous, and you can tell biting nails and all. They feel that they are on the up, JC. And wouldn't they want to win this before the penalty shootout? In terms of stoppages to done all that because it would have been more than four minutes. Yeah, I think so too. You know, more maybe the rain the the, the <laughs> he doesn't want to stay in this weather condition much longer. KC now in the attacking third for the first time in a while. And the keeper will cling on. Always difficult with a long throw into the box, I've mentioned earlier. Because they come in with a lack of pace, difficult for defenders to get distance and height on them. And uh, that occasion felt kindly for goalkeeper Barrett. Here's KC. Oh, they have outnumbered Jason in the attacking third. Jamari Morrison, why did he go for the shot? Well, we, know, we know why it's because of the condition and he feels his best, but again, the condition played against him. Felt he would have gone for him, which is why he go for the shot, thinking the goalkeeper wouldn't be able to handle it well, but then his standing leg just went yeah. come under him. Not the best clearance at all. And here's a shot that's wide of the mark. Jamaica College trying to win it in these four yeah. minutes, additional four minutes here. Kingston College too. Kingston College. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, the other one looking more likely uh, at this stage of the game. I think he managed to stay on side. Atkinson, Robinson, Atkinson inside the box. So the second touch oh. lets him down. <laughs> And he was looking for the corner kick, which was never going to come from referee Andrew Hayden. Let's see if he had a case here. No. I think the defender just played it back onto him. The defender got a touch, but I think the referee was right in that one. So as they prepare for penalties, Casey making a couple of changes. I think they must maybe setting on a goalkeeper as well, Kingston College. Ajay Stewart replaces Sajar Blair. And Chris Pearson is on. Chris Pearson replacing Scott McLeod. Mm -hmm. 
wearing the colours of the team that we saw in our World Cup that substituted their goalkeeper Holland and Asani Barnes comes on now. And time to make the saves. Well, let's see if Barnes will be a value for money in that regard. Not a lot of time remaining. And it's one of your free kicks to Kingston College. And judging from the response of the crowd, they felt that that might have been a penalty for Jamaica College. Wondering if they would have gone to penalties before actually penalty shootout. No chance. Not a chance. We will go to penalties. We will go to penalties after 90 minutes. We're locked at one of these Kings and College and Jamaica College yeah, in the second there. semi-final of the ISA Champions Cup as they battle for the right to meet King, uh, Clarendon College in next Saturday's final. Much done. And it's now down penalty to the Trevor. lotteries, which is a penalty shootout. Much done. Penalties where I go. I'll give me a hand my race and come back for the shootout. all concerned in this lottery. The numbers have already been picked. But who will cash the winning check for that spot in the final of the Champions Cup? KC will go first. Watson to kick first. Saved by Tariq Barrett. Hmm. It wasn't a, a good, a very good penalty. It wasn't far away from goalkeeper. Went for power. Feel a comfortable light for the goalkeeper as well. Not the into the corner. But was the keeper off his line, Dwight? Was the keeper off his line and he wasn't spotted? And he can take a save on that occasion. Still not a good penalty. Just not far away enough into that corner. Your foot has to be on the line. It has to be. And maybe, just maybe, Tariq Barry got away with one there. Hassani Barnes in goal for Kingston College. He has one job. Tyrese Small placing it for Jamaica College. The referee we'll missed the first penalty. Speaking to the keeper. Well, based on what we saw before, the conversation probably means little or nothing. We missed the first penalty. Player that provided the assist for Lopez goal. And now he seeks to get the go-ahead goal in this penalty shootout for JC. Small steps up to shoot, hammers it home. JC Bob Neal ahead in this penalty shootout. A very good penalty, very few good keeper get to do it. It was in the corner and in the roof. Never going to save that. No matter how good you are, apparently it's very good because he was brought in for this. Goalkeeper Barnes, never ever getting close to that. Dramatic scenes here at the National Stadium as Kingston College tried to get on the sheet. This is the reason why Chris Pearson came on the park to score his penalty kick. What can he do from 12 yards? Casey needs to get on the board. Pearson against Barrett. Pearson scores it! Tragedy in the rain for Christopher Pearson. 
is a longer walk back for Pearson. He came on specifically for this. Well, not that, I'm pretty sure. Coach would have brought him on to hit the back of the net from 12 yards. He was hitting Stadium East. Casey still not registering. Jamaica College uh, now trying to stamp their authority. Nicochet Murray. Steps up. Hits the post. Murray with the miss. His game has gone from bad to worse. And Kingston College, they have a lifeline. Certainly. Murray, remember, he's the player who sliced clearance. Atletin McCarthy to give Kingston College the go-ahead goal in this one. And no, made matters worse. Well, JC still with the advantage. But Kingston College, they have to get on the board. They really have to get on the board. Is that Tyrese Williams stepping up? It is, of course. The young man with so much pressure. As if there was any doubt for Casey's number nine. But he shows confidence there. And he finished that one with a plum. It's as if the goalkeeper got close to it. Let's look at that one. He, well, not. he almost charged yeah. on the kick. <laughs> Straight through the goalkeeper. Difficult in this condition. And that would have come out, as I said before, it looked that way before as if it was away from the goalkeeper. But always difficult for the goalkeepers in this condition. Oh, I did say it was going to be interesting to see what looks like or what was going to happen in penalties. Richard Thompson steps up. Saved! Oh, yes. Thompson denied by Hassani Barnes. That's why he's there. Again, another poor penalty, but Barnes was brought on to really do the business here. He's done just that just now. We have to give him credit still because we just saw one going through the goalkeeper. That one was looking to sneak underneath him. He made sure it didn't. And we're back where we started. The advantage wiped out just like that. You can't tell if it's tears or the rain, but it's water. And it's time now for KC to go ahead in the shootout. Ache Stewart is on and will place this spot kick. Stewart against Barrett. Stewart wins. There was a hand on it from Terry Barrett. But for Ajay Stewart, it was enough. And Kingston College, they have the lead in the shootout. Coming from behind here, Kingston College. And he got a hand to it. It's just not enough to parry it around the post. Good power on that penalty kick. Though the goalkeeper getting a good chunk of his palm to it. Not enough to keep it out. Advantage KC. Now all of a sudden, Jamaica College with the pressure. Looking for the equalizer. Oh, beautifully placed by Phil and Lawrence. Right into the corner. Goalkeeper Barnes, he went the right way. He gets the right. Just too far away from him, and that's what you get when the penalties are well placed. Just late in coming across. Would have been disappointed, Barnes. You could see him hitting the turf there. He felt he had a good chance of stopping that penalty. It's down to the final two. Michael Allen. 
for Kingston College. Can you bury this one? Allen steps up to shoot. Oh, nice. he scores! Nice. That was a fabulous kick from Michael Allen. And the Kingston College in the driver's seat. Cool and calm with that one. Confidence. Just easily placing it into the top corner. He was never going to miss that. It's the we approached it. Goalkeeper Barrett has no chance. He went the wrong way. And even if he had gone the right way, <laughs> that he was realized. never missing for that. <laughs> All right. Jamaica College, they have to score. If they miss, Kingston College would reach the final of the Champions Cup. Shadane Lopez, who scored the equalizer in regular time, needs to score the equalizer in this penalty shootout. Lopez, uh, skies it! Yes. The fan purples with the famous win in this raid at the stadium. Lopez Whoa. distraught. Sorry, my hand is tired on my heart. Yeah, <laughs> who were behind in this penalty shootout? They have come out oh. on top and got the better of Jamaica College in dramatic ah, circumstances. Yeah, it's a repeat of your Olivia Shield final last year. <laughs> Kingston College through to face Clarendon College after Shade Lopez Howler. He called it a Howler. He went way underneath this one. That was a horrible shot. Way over the top there. Not even close from Lopez. Yeah, the it. man that we felt was going to be crucial if kids and college were to advance. Right. And so often we've seen the big names miss penalties in big games. And Lopez yes, yes, and yes, his name yes. to that list. It's good boy football here in Jamaica. And Gardner, very relieved man. He had a good game was there as a tower of strength for Kinston College in defense today and he lives to fight on it's rain it's purple rain and the Kingston College